Hey folks, this video here you're getting ready to watch. It took me a while to figure out how to put this thing together. So the uh, footage of the uh, borescope uh, itself has no audio. Probably will record audio, but I didn't know how to make it happen. So uh, anyway, uh, uh, has no audio. So I'm just going to kind of put it in over me talking throughout the video. And uh, we'll just go from there. So anyway... Hope you enjoy the video. Hey folks, Rob here. And this is a kind of a video response to our buddy CW this morning. He'd done a video on his new uh, Teslong uh, digital bore scope and he got the rifle uh, bore scope. And he was talking about in the video how he wished uh, you could get a shorter rod for it. And uh, so, yes, uh, CW, they do make a, a shorter rod. This is the, actually, this is the pistol bore scope. So it is a uh, a shorter unit uh, and it comes with your cable so this one is designed to use with your with your uh, tablet or a cell phone or something of that matter it doesn't come with the the digital screen although you can take the cord from your long set and convert this to where you can use your little monitor so you can use it either way you can use it on a tablet or a device or you can use it uh, in conjunction with your little screen that comes with it, your viewer. So you have some options there uh, with this one. Uh, this one is probably, I'm going to guess, oh, that's probably about a foot long. So probably about a foot long rod there. Uh, and it comes with uh, three mirrors. Actually, I already made this video once. And I'm so stupid that I don't sometimes understand the holy uh at what i'm doing and, <laughs> and uh why i'm doing it but you know that's you know I, I don't never i never profess to be that technologically smart i do all my videos on my phone i edit all on my, on my phone i don't do anything on a computer which if you used a computer there'd be a lot more options for this type, type of stuff which i really start to need to do i need to anyway this is not about that you know how i am to ramble and I get off on tangents and go a different direction. And um, I'm like a cat with a laser shining on the floor. Anyway, so this is to be used with a device. Or if you have an existing uh, monitor, you can use it with that. So we're going to hook it up uh, to the phone. And I'm gonna, I'm going to try to record directly to my phone. So it works the same as your other unit. You know, you plug in your your little coaxial cable here your video cable and on the other end it has it has some different uh options here you can pull that off and use it to charge you or not charge but to you could actually stick this straight into a computer and do it straight off a computer monitor if you want it or anything that had a usb or it comes with this usb c adapter so you could do it that way so what we're going to do is uh we're going to hook this up to my phone and we're going to take a look down the barrel of this new uh smith and wesson now his is, yours is a little different mine and you got a little better probably a newer version this one has the little cameras just two two little uh uh mirrors and i need to see if i can get the set like you got the uh with the multiples but the way you adjust your focus is from what i understand the smaller your bore, the closer to the tip that you want this out. It has a little ring around that, and you can adjust the focal length of that mirror by running this little collar up and down. So the larger your bore, the further back you want it. Well, I'm not even in frame. The farther back you want it from your mirror, and that's my understanding. You kind of have to play with it to get it in focus sometimes, but we're going to hook this up to the phone and see if I can record directly to the phone and... uh we're going to go from there. So stay tuned. Let me set this up and we'll take a look at this Smith & Wesson. All right. That's a kind of a look at the uh, Teslong uh, pistol kit. I got it hooked to the phone. Uh, it's a uh, light. St it's still hooked up to the phone. So anyway, you can add use this with your uh, existing rifle rod and monitor. Or you can use it as a standalone on a cell phone or tablet. So anyway, kind of a, like I said, a video response to CW. Yes, the uh, smaller rod and outfits out there. And uh, 
congratulations on the new Tesla. I know they come in extremely handy sometimes to have. It's uh, something that you don't really you don't really know you need until you have one. Once you've had one, you're going to want one because you know you can. You know, when you get a used gun, which I get a lot of, it's good to go down the bore and check and see, you know, if you see any issues, rust, uh, things you need to maybe address, you know, pitting. It's, a good, it's just a good thing to have, so helps you maintain your firearms in a better um, a better manner and uh, just a nice accessory to have. Uh, like I said, something I never know I needed it. Honestly, most of the stuff I have, since I've started this YouTube channel, is things I never know I needed. Because I was, before I started doing this, I done it the, the, the way that I'd done it from a kid, and that's the best way I knowed how. And uh, with whatever I had to do it with, if it was a pair of vice grips or whatever, that's what I worked with. You, you do with what you have, and that's what I did. And so a lot of these things are like luxuries, but they're really nice to have when you need them. Anyway, guys, appreciate it. Hope you're having a great weekend. And until the next video, we'll see you guys later.